The reigning WCC Player of the Week from Pacific, senior Valerie Higgins joins me. Valerie, thank you for joining me during a holiday week. I appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you. Um, thanks for having me. The last time we caught up was during the preseason, and obviously we talked about the obstacles of COVID-19, shelter in place, so many different changes heading into this season, unlike any other. And while you guys are still dealing with that a lot, what has it been like the first couple weeks of the season? Honestly, it's just been a blessing to be able to play and to have a season. Like, there was times when all this happened, like, way earlier, where I was like, man, like, are we going to have a season? Are we going to be able to play? And just being out there on the court has been, like, amazing for me. And having it be my senior year and that we get to play. But it has been a challenge. You know, we were down our last two games, a couple players. We only had 10 due to COVID. And it's just day by day, try to take it for what it is. Let's talk stats a little bit because I know that among Division I athletes, you rank fourth in steals. How important is that one particular statistic to you? Um, it's pretty important. I think I love defense. I always have. It translates, it makes offense so much easier if you could just get run out steals and layups. Um, stopping someone and like taking the ball from someone is like kind of a satisfying feeling almost, you know? And it's just the one thing you can control as a player is effort and intensity on defense. And so I really try to like hone that and make that a part of who I am and a part of my game. Valerie, what was it like growing up with a coach and a father in the same household? What was the conversation like for you at the dinner table? It was honestly great. It was probably the best thing for me as a player. You know, he really pushed me and motivated me, but he also taught me how to love the game and how it can take you places and how it's so much bigger than basketball when we're on the court. He always told me, you know, you're not playing for yourself. You're playing for like the little girl in the stands that's watching you, you know, you're playing for your family, you're playing for your teammates. And he just taught me so much about the game and about life and how the two kind of intertwine almost. What have you been most impressed by this season when it comes to the team and how it's changed in years past? I just think I'm most impressed with our mental toughness. Like it's been a crazy year and we haven't folded. No one's given up, no one's, you know, thrown the towel in. We all just have been leaning on each other, you know, and sometimes it's hard. Sometimes people have a bad day and we all kind of notice that and we just uplift that person and we're able to kind of just play off one another and support one another through this time. So it's been really great to see that. I know when you're not playing basketball, you're a big Star Wars fan. The show Mandalorian is really big in our household right now with my 11 year old and my nine year old. So I've been naturally watching it. I can't tell if baby Yoda is cute or creepy. <laughs> Are you a big fan of this show right now? And like, what's the craze about it? It's kind of funny because I actually just finished it last night. So <laughs> I love it. I think it's a great show. The last episode of season two was one of the best cinematic experiences. Like I was literally in my room and like trying not to yell and like cheer because I was so excited. Like the ending was amazing. I'm not going to spoil it, but <laughs> I'm a huge fan. I am a huge Star Wars fan and I love The Mandalorian. I think it's a great series and yeah. All right, what's your favorite one, your favorite movie of all of them? Oh, that is tough. I would probably say Revenge of the Sith. That's my favorite for sure, just because I just love Darth Vader. And this is going to sound so funny, but I love the dark side and everything about it, just the passion and the you know commitment and just seeing his character kind of change over in that movie was really amazing to me. <laughs> Valerie, thank you so much again. I appreciate the time on a holiday week. Continue your success on and off the court. Best of luck. Thank you. Happy holidays.